Once you've enabled NoteFlight, you're able to bring your NoteFlight musical scores into your Haiku class in a number of ways. In this tutorial, we'll walk through how to do that. I'm logged in as a teacher of the class 6th grade central, and I want to add some musical scores for my students to listen to and also comment on later. I've organized my Haiku class so that the pages represent the various topics. So I'll quickly create a new page for music. To do that, I click the Add Page button. My new page is going to be called Music. I'll leave it at the bottom of the list of pages and click Save. And now I have a fresh canvas where I can place my musical scores. I want to change the layout real quick because I know my scores will be wider than two columns. Change my page layout to one column. To add a note flight musical score is a simple series of clicks. First I choose add content block. On the first tab, the type of content I want to add is note flight. Choose that option. And because Haiku and NoteFlight are integrated, there are a few ways that I can bring in my musical scores. I can either paste in the, the URL or web address of an existing score, or I can create a new score from scratch. I happen to already have one created. I have not copied the URL of that score though, so I can go to NoteFlight to get that information. So I click that link, and NoteFlight opens in a new tab for me. It may open in a new window for you, depending on your browser settings. And here is the score that I want to bring into my class. So I go to the sharing link in NoteFlight. I make sure that others can actually view the score. Um, if, this is, if this was marked as private, my students wouldn't be able to see it. Look through the other settings. These are what I want and I copy the URL or web address. I click copy and I know it's copied. Um, I could have also copied the address from the address bar, but NoteFlight gives me that quick shortcut. And I'll leave this tab open and hop back to my Haiku class where I can click in the URL field. And now I'm going to right click with my mouse and paste that address. My Haiku class will either display a link to the score which means a student would click on the link and the score would open in a smaller window, or it will embed the score directly in the page, which means the score will display in the page itself. So I'll start by embedding my score. Choose Next. And the block title automatically imports the title of my score, which I can change if I'd like. I will leave it here. And I can give it a description if I'd like. And this is a description that my students will be able to see. Again, I have the option to show it as a link or as embedded preview displays here. And I am ready to save. That small window closes and my page tells me that the block learning was successfully created. And I can see my score now within the body of, of my Haiku class. NoteFlight also enables me to play the score within my class. Either the entirety, or if I hover my mouse over the measures, I can start at any measure I want. For instance, the third. And the same is true for my students in terms of the play options they have. I can also view this score directly within NoteFlight. If you're using the paid version of NoteFlight, Login is integrated, so you only have to log into your Haiku class, not to your Haiku class, and then to NoteFlight. Let's see what this would have looked like if I would have added a link. So I will delete this block. And again, I go to Add Block. Choose NoteFlight. And I still have the link copied on my clipboard, so I can right-click again and choose paste. This time I want it to be a link, so I choose next. This page reloads. And a preview of what this embedded score will look like when it opens in a new window. So I choose save. That window closes, and back on my music page, 
I can now see that there is a link to my NotePlace score. When I click it, that score opens still within my Haiku class, but in a pop-up window, again with the same play options that we looked at earlier. I can also view this in NotePlight itself by clicking NotePlight, which again opens in a new window or tab. Close that, and I am back on my Haiku class. Let's take a look at what this would look like for students. This page right now isn't published, so I need to do that in order for students to be able to see it. Publish now. Click Save button. So now if I log in as a student, I should be able to see the page music that includes a link to the NoteFlight score called Learning. Here I am logged in as a student of the class 6th grade central. I can see a link to the page music. And when I go there, I can see the link to the NoteFlight score called Learning. If I click that, that score opens in a new window. And as a student, I can play this. Go ahead and stop it. And just like the teacher's access, if a student wants to open the score in NoteFlight, a new tab or window will open and display that score.